When Kitabayer got up from his reclining chair, he picked up the fallen letter and read it as he stood. Halfway through reading, he said, Sichi. People who study English have no brains. Especially if they settle in Madras, they don't understand head to toe. They are so arrogant. Said. Saraswati Amal seemed to say, if you don't read English, why are you scolding the educated people? But when Madras came to mind, her mind turned to another side. She held her tongue because of the desire to know the subject of the letter. What is written? she asked. Kitavayar's slight anger towards his wife had turned towards the Madras cars. So he answered Saraswati Amma's question. In old Mambalam, a Pragaspati, he has written. His wits have burned the pot. Oh! Has your little uncle written? What has he written? Saraswati Amma asked. Her voice was full of excitement. Kitavayar said, didn't Simacha say that there is a good groom in Padmapuram in the city? I asked him to inquire about it and write about it. The child's mother went to see the parents. They said that they should bring the girl to Madras and show her. It seems that the people of Madras have no brains. Taking a girl is like taking a cow to the market. Want to go? Do they pay for it anyway? Give the girl and give money as dowry. If they were the ones who said that without sense, where did he get his sense? He has written that it is good to bring Lalita here once. Well done. He has seen so much good. Said Kitavayar in a barrage. However, you shouldn't be so angry. Do you often say to yourself, anger, sin, sand alum? Will I be so angry? Saraswati Amal gave a gentle sermon to Kitavayar. Saraswati Amal's eagerness to find a good husband for Lalita sometimes made her indulge in Rajrakaram, at other times it also made him perform great meekness. That is impossible, to bring our Lalita and show her in front of the stupid piles who saw her? What has happened now? If not for him, many others. For a boy to come and see a girl, then say he wants a girl, and then says no, this is obscene. To take girls and show her off is vulgar. Thing. Saraswati Amal interrupted and said, What are you drinking now? Why are you angry? Everything will be done thinking of the householders. She said. Simachavayar was mentioned by Saraswati Amal as a householder of crowers. The mother knew very well that Kitavayar's anger would subside as soon as he was mentioned. It was as she thought. Kitavayar hurriedly ate and left. Three people were already waiting in the Malakoti home yard. Srinivasa Iyer alias Simachavayar was sitting with a deck of cards in his hand. Panchavayar and Apathurai Shastri were reading Sudhisamithran magazine with a cover over their heads. When Kitavayar arrived, the Shastris raised their heads from the newspaper and said, Eerwal. Do you know Samus Aram? Is there a big earthquake in Bihar? said. Panchuwiyar said, does he know what that is? He is the one who caused the earthquake. He kept telling Samsarath that if Lalita went to the post office, an earthquake would come. The next minute Zimachu walked in saying earthquake in Bihari. The sage's vow was fulfilled that very moment. Said. Once upon a time the Brahmin's vow was being fulfilled. Now everything has turned upside down. I myself ask, what will happen if the girl child does not go to Tabalapi? Is there no one in the Iyer's house to go to Tabalapi? Is there no scorpion? Said the Shastris. Simachu Iyer interrupted and said, even if there are no people, there are plenty of scorpions. Shut up. Just stay there. What has gone wrong with Lalita going to Tabalapis? That's what you're saying? Do you know how the world is progressing? Said. When you are about to talk about progress and regression like this, an earthquake is coming to town. Said the Shastris. I'll be in earthquake Bihar for what we're talking about here. Panchuwiyar asked. How long will it take for that earthquake to get here? God willing, it will be here the next minute. Earthquake or not, the Mahatma is coming to our province. 
Panchuwiyar said and showed the headline in the newspaper. Do you know why he is coming? He is coming to open all the temples to the Padadas. I ask why the earthquake will not come. Will the earthquake be the only one? Earthquake, storm, heavy rain, flood, great flood will all come, and the whole world will be destroyed. Oi! Sastris! Don't tell Durval like this through Panjati's mouth. He's going to escape and be sacrificed. Panchuwiyar said. We don't need that fear. Would this town be like this if the Apatare Shastris were fulfilling their vows? How many people has this Mahan blessed by saying Turka Sumangalapava? Are all those who received his blessing Sumangalas? There are more ex Sumangalis in this town. Simachavayar spoke a little curtly. Stop this fuss, Simachu. I'm here to ask you for an idea. Said Kitavayar. Shouldn't I have told you earlier? Come on, let's go inside. Both of them went inside the hall. What do you think? Kitavayar elaborated on the letters from Bombay and Madras. He asked. Simachuwiyar expressed his opinion.